Well, hello there. I am busy outside here. I guess got me a uh, fire going here. I invited my buddy to come over tonight and we we're going to cook ourselves a stew outside again. And I uh, figured, ah, and uh, I also asked him to bring along his uh, wood splitter. And so we'll be splitting up some wood and I still have a pile of uh, longer logs up here. I asked him to bring his uh, chainsaw along and we'll probably cut it all up and all that stuff. I uh, finally got my uh, truck all fixed up and uh, I'm going to show you a little bit later on uh, what we all got done. So uh, with that we'll, uh, we'll go over to the truck and I'll, I'll show you guys what happened. So here we are over at my truck and I'm going to show you what uh, what Penners did to my truck. This is the valve right here that they changed and they did something wrong. They told me that that well right there, that ABS well, that's the ABS well right there. That's the valve that I got changed yesterday and I was still having an air leak problem so uh, we had to do some more digging and we discovered that this well right here, this piece right here, is what the uh, penner screwed up they put just a regular T in there and it's actually supposed to be a uh, valve that little piece right here this is actually a valve right here that's actually a valve and that was causing my ABS valve in the back there to uh, to drain the, the the air out and so technically I changed that valve underneath that fifth wheel right there I pretty much changed that for nothing cost me nine hundred and seven dollars just to change all of that and it was old Penner's fault now I am not a type of guy that likes to talk bad about uh, companies if they screw something up because I know that we all make mistakes you know but uh, that uh, really pissed me off I spent nine hundred and seven dollars for nothing really I mean, it's not going to hurt my truck. It's benefit. It's going to benefit my truck, you know. But uh, spending nine hundred dollars isn't uh, isn't easy, especially if you know you couldn't. You know that could have been prevented if Penners had done their job correctly, you know. But uh, it is what it is. Tomorrow I am going to go back to work. Today is January first, two thousand and fifteen, uh, and. I will have a good talk with the shop there at Penners and we will see what happens and I'll let you guys know what happens but uh, I'm certainly going to ask uh, to to get my money back or or at least uh, that they're going to help me pay that bill you know because I mean I already paid for the bill but I uh, uh, I'm pretty steaming mad because they they're the ones that originally screwed up right and so they told me that they wouldn't have time to take me in the shop anymore after after all, all they did. They, they were too busy. So I had no other choice than to take my truck to a different shop if I wanted to get it done sooner. So uh, basically got all of that work done for nothing. So we're going to have a good chat tomorrow. Well, the day has come to an end and my battery had died. So I went inside of my truck and uh, charged up the battery. And here we are. We uh, finished splitting a bunch of wood and uh, cut up some of the wood that we still had laying as longer longer pieces and all that stuff. So we cooked ourselves a uh, stew dinner. We had dinner and our friends left. And uh, here we are at the end of the day. So uh, tomorrow we're gonna go back on the road. We got ourselves a nice load up to uh, Vermont Massachusetts and New York three drops so we will be uh, doing that stuff tomorrow and then first thing is first we will uh, go talk to our dispatch I mean uh, our shop manager and we will see what we can do with uh, my repair bill that I've been telling you guys about so uh, I guess with that, we'll see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. Thanks for watching. My videos should be uh, more regularly now. I 
no there's been a couple of days that I've been missing but uh, hey I didn't know very much to film so anyways with that we'll see you guys tomorrow at 5 a.m.